Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Bharat Nagpal for Ikea Internet. In and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Zolo Play 8X1100. Now the name is really complicated. It's essentially the next revision into Zolo's Play series. It's essentially supposedly going to take on the likes of the Nitro, the Xiaomi Mi3, and the new generation Moto G. So what does it have? Does it really have everything that it needs to set it apart? Let's find out. First, if you look at the box over here, you'll see that the price is approximately 14,999 rupees and it's actually available for around 13,600 rupees. On the back of the box, you get essentially most of the specifications, but we'll look at that in just some time as and when we unbox the device. The first thing inside the box is uh, the Zolo Play itself. I'll put this device to the side for the timing and look at what else is inside the box. So you do get a screen protector inside the box. You also get a Note window style flip case, which looks like it's leather, but it's actually pleather and it does have like a plastic frame to hold on to the device. Fairly decent looking. So you also get a quick start guide, the USB cable, the USB wall charger, standard earphones with inline microphone and a push button to send and end calls. And you also get a OTG cable, meaning that this device will support OTG using your pen drives or your hard drives. So that's everything from the box. Let's take a look at the device itself. So the device looks uh, really nice. It almost looks like an HTC device. The build and finish on this product is really, really nice. The front screen is nice and uh, vivid. So let's do a one over with the device. We'll see how it fares. So on the front over here, we have a five inch 1280 by 720p display. You also get a five megapixel front facing camera, which is again impressive. Uh, the front camera does do uh, video as well. Uh, but we don't really know. I think it's 720p video. On the bottom of the display, you can see three touch capacitive buttons. These buttons are backlit and have this really nice dotted pattern on it. That looks really nice, uh, like the Google Play sign. On the right side is the power lock and unlock button. On the top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and that's it. On the left is the volume rocker. And on the bottom is the main micro USB charging, as well as data syncing port and the main microphone. The back has a 13 megapixel camera which does do 1080p video, also has panorama mode. You also have a dual LED flash, uh, but it appears to be one LED. Uh, but on the box, it says dual LED. Maybe it has dual color SMDs in there, but you can also see a Zolo logo over here. And uh, the main speakerphone grill is at the bottom. So the back panel can come off and uh, you can see that the back panel is replaceable. And this is where and how you'll put the flip case on it. And I'll just put that in one second. The device also comes with a 2100 milliamp hour battery. On the inside, you can see we have two SIM card slots and a micro SD card slot, which will accept up to 32 gigabyte micro SD cards. So there is some weird affinity with the flip cases in our country, and uh, this one is no less. So exactly like uh, Samsung's flip case, uh, this does have a sort of magnetic sensor over here that will detect and then convert the lock screen into a clock over here. A sort of feature that is appreciable because this window will come in handy. You can also answer incoming calls from here or reject them and uh, basically if you're on a call you can get all that call summary over here as well so that's nice quick window sort of case for uh, the device also when you open the case uh, your device gets automatically unlocked which is also a nice feature so you don't have to open and then slide your finger to unlock the device so it's a great nifty sort of smart case feature uh, that Apple invented and then Samsung copied and now it's come down to this device. So let's take a look at the basic user interface. I'll try and change the wallpaper over here. So this is the basic user interface. Uh, as in when you add apps or widgets, uh, you can populate up to seven home screens. You don't have a pinch out to see all home screens sort of function. It's more or less stock Android with a bunch of uh, Zolo applications uh, loaded onto it. So you have a battery booster, a warranty registration application, Zolo Secure. If you shift to the right side, you can see your uh, quick toggles. You can also cast your screen from here. You also have something called Smart Gesture built in to the device, which is nice. So let's go ahead and open up our website and see how that looks on this device. So you can see it loads our website really quickly. It, browsing is really smooth as well. If I convert it into landscape. So yeah, it switches from portrait into landscape fairly easily. If I go into an article, I want to see what the text looks like. The text looks really crisp and clear as well. So overall, uh, really impressive in terms of the display, in terms of the browsing capabilities. On the stock browser, it's not even Chrome browser. It's just a stock Android browser that comes preloaded on the device. The next thing we're going to do is check out our video. So the display is nice and video playback is good. You also have a loud speakerphone on the device, so you'll tr truly enjoy your multimedia experience. So if we talk about what's inside the new Zolo Play 8X1100, we have an octa-core 
MediaTek processor which is uh, clocked at 1.7 GHz on all 8 cores. You also have the Mali 450 MP GPU. For RAM, you get 2 GB of RAM and you get 16 GB of storage. And like I said earlier, 32 GB micro SD card support. Overall, the device seems like a good package and uh, comes with a bunch of accessories, including a screen protector and a flip case that also acts or doubles up as a smart dual case. So uh, that all is excellent. Stay tuned for our full review of the new Zolo Play. If you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and make sure you visit iGyan.in for your daily dose of tech. This has been Bharat Thank you guys for watching.